The main course is chicken drumsticks stuffed with crawfish. To stuff them, you first have to remove the bones, which can be a challenge, at least at first. Okay, this is how we do this now. See right here, this part right here, it's where the bone is. So you're just gonna take your knife, gonna hold it down like this a little bit, and you're just gonna go around, close like that, pretty much cutting the nerves that's holding the bone. This one in my hand here looks like it's broken, but that's okay, we'll get to another one that it's not. And you're pulling it completely, it's like you're turning it completely over. Okay? Wow. We're gonna okay. work with you a couple times and it will be easy after that. Then we're gonna cut the bone out. Then we're gonna turn it back to the way it's supposed to be. So when we're ready to stuff it, it's ready to stuff. Alrighty. Usually after two or three, okay. you become professional in okay. bone in <laughs> <laughs> dry sticks. It's easy if you just push it like that. Completely out. It's easy and easy the more you do it. There we go. And we got about 25 more to do. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of time for me to take a stab at this, right? Here we go. You just don't let me have tools in the kitchen. Cut away from the bone. Push the skin down. Bone through. And you're supposed to cut the very last bit of skin off. Flip the chicken back the way it's supposed to be. Well, and it's back to looking more like a chicken drumstick. I never would have thought of taking the bone out of a chicken leg. Yep. I'm with you, Karen, but Chef Jarfy has never failed us before. And true to form, never letting a morsel go to waste, he has a use for the discarded chicken bones. This chicken bones is good to save. You put them on a Ziploc bag, throw them in your freezer. One day when you want to make good chicken soup, uh -huh. boil them in water for like an hour. You have chicken stock. Oh, so you wonderful. don't have to use a beef bouillon, a chicken bouillon cube. Oh, fantastic. You make your own chicken stock. Now it's time to mix the stuffing for the drumsticks. Chef Jarfy rinses the crawfish and puts Karen to work chopping more onions. And the herb we're gonna use with the crawfish tail and stuffing the shrimp, stuffing the chicken drumstick will be thyme. Oh great, thank you. Now we're gonna cook better. Oh. A little wine, cook better, you know <laughs> how that better. is. Thank you. Cheers. One sip and it's back to work. The chef tosses the thyme with the crawfish and onion. He adds a healthy drizzle of olive oil and salt and pepper to taste. A good mix and the stuffing is ready for the drumsticks. And it's real easy here, Karen. You just take, you take the chicken like this in your hand and you open it up and you start stuffing the crawfish inside. There we go. Now, see, it looks like there is a bone back in there, but there is no bone, it's all crawfish in the middle. This is a lot easier than removing the bone, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the chef arranges the drumsticks on a bed of sliced red onion and drizzles more olive oil. A garnish of lemon slices and paprika complete the dish. And that's it, right there. Beautiful. There we go. A covering of aluminum foil and off they go into the oven at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Our chicken is ready, beautiful, ready to eat. There we go, ma'am. Oh. Got a beautiful chicken drumstick stuffed with the uh, crawfish, stuffed with lemon, thyme, ready to eat. Oh, it smells so good. The stir fry is ready too. Dinner is served. I am absolutely amazed that we have dinner for six people and so much food, and it's all very healthy food. It is so flavorful. I, you can smell the aroma, the flavor. Smells good. Let's oh, have fun. Let's goodness. eat. Are I you guys ready to eat? Yeah. Oh, this is great. Thank you. <laughs>
I usually uh, give everybody a knife when I cook in their house, so you get to keep a chef knife. You are kidding me. This is the honor, you get to keep a chef knife. Oh, this is wonderful. Enjoy it. A chef knife. Yep. I learned how to chop. That's it. Oh.